All right, we are here with Big Meatball 88 and Lil Crap about to do the quest for Guybrush. And here we go. We go to the second book. Load it up. I see you noticed my new book. I wasn't expecting to get a package, least of all from Mele Island. But I guess Mojo works in mysterious ways. Told me everything I need to know. So now, if Threefoot is trapped in his own little fantasy land, we get to be the ones to tear it all down. It's the only way he'll ever agree to come back here. I've sent word to the Pirate Lord. He should be here in just a few... Ugh, I hate it when he does that. Captain Capsize has been gracious enough to inform me of all you've discovered. It seems that Guybrush's current predicament is no accident. I still believe that Guybrush can become the legend he wishes to be. He has many more adventures ahead. But first, we must free him from the clutches of his old foe. The Chuck's a pompous old blowhard, but he's still dangerous. And if Threepwood is out of the picture, He'll go after Elaine next. Ah, yes. I understand he has something of an infatuation with her. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, the book also says there's a way to snap Threefoot out of whatever LeChuck's done to him. Then it seems the time is right to return to the Sea of the Damned. Allow me. Only Guybrush knows how to reach LeChuck. You must do whatever it takes to make him see the truth. If I were you, I'd start by visiting the island's House of Mojo. Something tells me you're already expected. Time to rock and roll. Got our quest book. Oh, we're selling on the Z poop deck. <laughs> uh. Let's go. Oh, nice sales. We're selling on the poop de deck, and Lowcrop's character was scratching his booty. <laughs> oh my goodness. The green lantern. Oh, here we go. Excuse me? So sorry to bother you, but the captain would like to work. Well now, look who's back to meddle in my affairs. Ye must be even more stupid than you look. Hey. Threepool belongs to me now, and that's the way he likes it. 
Ye can try and talk sense into him until you're blue in the face, for all the good it'll do. But while ye waste your breath, I'll be doing as I please on the sea of thieves. But I can be merciful. Once I'm running the place, if ye swear an oath to follow the orders of your nefarious new pirate lord, you could become richer and more powerful than you've ever dreamed of. I'll leave ye to consider my offer. I have work to do. <laughs> Get off of our ship. Fire! <laughs> yeah, see ya. Deep in the Caribbean. Bailey Island. Yeah, we're almost here, we're almost here. This is the perfect dock that you want to go up to. Great parking. All right. Get going here. All right. 
So, first thing you'll want to do is come to the scum bar right here. The scum bar. Oh, yeah. That's where all the scums hang out. Yeah, him up there. Okay. You want to come all the way to the back and you want to get yourself fired from Not the chef. So fast. I don't know where you've been, and I really don't care. But if you think you can just waltz back into my kitchen, you can think again. You turn up late for work, you don't wash your hands, you use up all my best ingredients. But Worst of all, you but feed my prime steak to a bunch of mangy mutts. Well, and there's one thing I can't stand. It's people who are kind to hungry animals. Oh boy. You're fired. Fired. Oh my gosh. Uh, got yourself fired. What you want to do next is come into town and you want to find see a gentleman right here on the street with the parrot. That's a map of the legendary that. lost treasure of Melee Island. Only one in existence. If you really are a pirate, you won't want to pass it up. I talk to him. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. Preferably not literally. Nope, the Tri Island Chamber of Commerce specifically banned gold based transactions in case cursed currency somehow makes its way into the ecosystem. I heard there was this one ship where the crew, well, anyway, only authentic silver pieces of eight are legal tender on Melee Island. What do I look like, a career advisor? Come back when you got something to spend. Oh, and before you ask, I'm fresh out of stuffed toys. Oh, I wanted some more stuffed toys. That's privileged client vendor confidentiality, friend. All you need to know is that they're so popular I keep running out of stock. Of course, it's also true that they break easily and need replacing. <laughs> what parrot? Then you'll want to go right here to the Mojo shop. And you want to speak to Karina. Hello, Karina, we're back. Fate has brought us back together. Yeah. I regret I could not summon you sooner, but things work differently in the Sea of the Damned. It took some time to devise a brew that will bring Guybrush to his senses. A potion that can convey the truth of the pirate life must be concocted using emblems of true pirate courage. The only way to acquire such things is to undertake the three legendary trials. Three? Now that you have met with the legend of Monkey Island, I sense the pirate leaders may be willing to indulge you. Speak with them in the scum bar, then return to me. I'll be working on a drop of something special to help you on your way. Okay, Karina, thank you. We'll be back. All right, we got to go speak to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Back to the scum bar we go. And hello, pirate leaders. How y'all doing today? This had better be worth interrupting our grog. No, it will be. The governor granted you an audience? Well, this changes matters. The legend of Monkey Island doesn't waste his time with pirate wannabes. That may be so, but nobody's gone through the trials in an age and lived to tell the tale. Then it'll be their funeral, and all the more <laughs> grog for us. Right? Very enough. well. With the governor's blessing, we shall begin the, the three, three legendary, legendary trials. trials. There are three devilishly difficult trials every pilot must undertake. Inspired by the legend of Monkey Island, you must master the sword and the art of thievery and the quest. Do what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. We've been doing this for 33 years, and you're still as clueless as ever. <laughs> I have a very short attention span. 
Uh, you must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, Sword play. thievery, thievery, and treasure hunting. Treasure and hunter. gather proof that you've done it. Fine. We've prepared some documentation to help you on your way. You can always ask us for advice. Yeah, it's the least we can do for making the legendary trial so confoundingly impossible. Now your first task will be clearing away this accursed block. Well, I can't see past his own beard out there. Well, now, if it's cursed fog you want clearing away, I happen to have considerable experience in that regard. There was a time at Sailor's Grave where all were weak. Oh, not the lighthouse story again. Get to the point. <laughs> Very well. Ye must return to the mojo shop and lay your hands on a mystical brew to dispel that infernal mist. Is that how? We could have told them that, you dim-witted decoration. Everyone's a critic. Hi. You'll get your quest book updated. And then you'll want to head back and speak with Karina. All right, Karina, we talked to the pirate leaders. Do you bring news? You are undertaking the three trials? Yes. Excellent. Then you'll be needing this list. I have foreseen much that will aid you in the trials. Even in his slumber, Guybrush will be able to assist you. And we get our quest book updated again. And we are going to head to stop and speak top keep. Oh, this way. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. Let me talk. Um. Welcome back, there fancy we go. pants. I hope you brought more money than last time. Want to tell him you're low on funds and ask him if he offers Not credit. Not unless you've got something real valuable to use as collateral, and I can already tell by your outfit that you don't. But I do have a few spare notes of credit lying around, if you can get one signed by someone in good standing. Someone like the governor will talk. Like the governor. Oh, he, he'll give you your credit note. And then, want to go. He said the governor. So we're going to go over to the mansion. We all remember where that is. Apparently, he's asleep. Talk no, to no me. more autographs. Just, let me sleep. No more autographs. Let me sleep. All right, fine. We'll just pickpocket you. So you'll get a key. You'll just want to turn right around. This little footlocker here. I'm going to grab the ink. Place it right here on the desk. Turn around, walk right out the door, down the stairs, right here to this table. And you'll pick up the writing quill. And put it on his desk. And we're going to forge his signature since he won't wake up. So you're going to take out your credit note. Place it down. And then you're going to forge his 
Let's go. And you're gonna make sure you pick that credit note back up. Or to pick it back up. Um, now we're gonna look at his bookshelf. So what we're gonna do now is go back and talk to the gentleman on the street. Because you should be able to grab one of those books. That's a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. Only one in existence. If you really are a pirate, you won't want to pass it up. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. Preferably not literal. A trade? Uh, I don't think so. The only maps in town that are more valuable than mine belong to the legend of Monkey Island. Uh, maybe I could be convinced to accept a chart from one of the governor's adventures. That'd be worth a small fortune for me and a map for you. The shelves in that old mansion must be packed with all kinds of treasures. Next time you're in the area, uh, see what you can swipe. All right. Going back to the mansion like he just spoke about. And we're going to look for this treasure map. And we're going to find a meatball. <laughs> okay, so as you can see now, you can interact with the different books. Um, one you want, um, you have to pull them out. And this one, yeah, the time I blew up LeCheck. This is the book you want. You want to tug on the book. It falls on the floor. Pick it up, and there is your treasure map. Fat booty. We have someone in our crew. Fat booty, fat cheeks. <laughs> so this is really cool to to team rum dums. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the gentleman in the street and trade this out with him. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. A trade? Uh, I don't think so. The only maps in town that are more valuable than mine belong to the legend of Monkey Island. Uh, maybe I could be convinced to accept a chart from one of the governor's adventures. That'd be worth a small fortune for me and a map for you. The shelves in that old mansion must be packed with all kinds of treasures. Next time you're in the area, uh, see what you can swipe. Okay, I think really what we need to do is go back to the shop. Shop. Down here. Ahoy there. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. So we want to go back to the shop and give the credit note shopkeeper. Welcome back. Fancy pants. I hope you brought more money than last time. Hold on, let me look and see what I got here. Here. Oh, yeah. It's the credit note that we had forged. Give that to him. Well, I'll be. You actually got it signed. That'll do nicely, is store credit. <laughs> now take your time and look around. I'm open all hours. So, after you do that, you'll want to here and purchase the mighty pirate sword and you actually want to whip it god i have so many 
hopefully it's gonna last long. There it is, right there. My energy's on for now. Then you're gonna wanna go upstairs. You're gonna wanna purchase the rubber. This is what we'll be using to zip line with, believe it or not. Right. Oh, this is where you go back to the guy on the street. Okay. Here we go. Gold's no good to me. If you want to buy something, you need to cough up pieces of eight. Preferably not literally. A trade? Uh, I don't think so. The only maps in town that are more valuable than mine belong to the legend of Monkey Island. Uh, maybe I could be convinced to accept a chart from one of the governor's adventures. That'd be worth a small fortune for me and a map for you. Okay, I got a map for you, dude. Hold on. Let me look at my quest book. Here. So this is where you're going to give him the treasure map. Is that one of the governor's famous sea charts? Okay, you got a deal. The treasure map is yours. <laughs> okay, now you Nobody should be able else to... wanted it anyway. Now you can be able to pick up the treasure map. And quest book should update. And now you want to go speak to Tina. Oh yeah, she's right around the corner. Return to me when you are equipped for the three trials. Without silver, you must use other means to acquire what you seek. Now you are almost ready for what lies ahead. But I have one last gift to bestow. I have used the last of your root beer along with many the other last of your strange beer. and dangerous ingredients to brew a magnificent mojo potion of unrivaled potency. Now it is time to dispel the mist that cloaks us from those in your world. Take my potion to the island lookout and pour it into the fire. Set Mele Island free. Thank you. All right. Now the long walk up to Lookout Point. Well, while we're on this long walk, I'll tell a quick story. Um, so my cousin, you know, wanted to marry this girl, and so he decided to take her to the tallest mountain in Texas to propose to her. Oh, whatever, meatball. Get out of my way. <laughs> and she said yes, in case you were wondering. Hey. That is not cool. I'm out of breath from all that walking. Alright, here we go. 
Pour the mojo potion right here on the fire. What? And you wait. What did you do? What's happening? Getting stronger. She put in that potion anyway. Oh, it's sucking back in. Oh. Whoa. What the heck? Wow. Lifted the fog. Very cool. And now you have a checkpoint. So from here, we're going to go down. Foundation unlock. Clearing the air. Until you see the zip line. Reason of which bought the chicken. Here we go. You're going to take the zip line down. You're going to turn around. You're going to come over here. Hit this lever. Lower the gates, the bridge, and then cross the bridge. Right over here is your first. Was there ever a real troll here? Eh, probably not. But if someone's willing to go that far just for a herring, I don't want to make them angry. Just let it play all the way through, and then walk right here. You'll see a little wagon. And there is oh, the day I'm having. I suppose I should have known the bridge to Smirk's place would be impassable, and that LeChuck's crew would be waiting for me. Fortunately, I was already in a really foul mood, so I had a few choice insults in mind to throw them off balance before they could surround me. It didn't take long before my trusty tree branch was reduced to matchwood, but I had one more ace up my sleeve. Good to know the root beer approach still works. This fog, though. It's more than a spot of sea mist, and it's closing in around me. It won't be long before the whole island swallowed up. <sighs> and if that happens, I'm sorry, Guybrush. I have to save myself before I can save you. At least you'll be safe here in Dreamland. Oh, that was a whole lot. Then you just want to come up here, follow the path up. So you see this like scaffolding left. Go up, scaffolding. Want to go up one ladder. And then you want to go up the second ladder. Right here is your second journal. Have you ever had a dream that you were so totally convinced was reality? I find myself experiencing the opposite problem, and I'm not sure how to wake up. The pen I hold in my hand feels absolutely real. I can smell the dusty covers of my grandfather's spare journals and the salty air on a night breeze. Guybrush and I left Melee Island behind. How then has it caught up to us? And why is everyone acting so strangely? Ah, the legend of Monkey Island, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Hubby Dearest is eating it all up, of course. 
basking in praise for mighty pirate deeds he never accomplished. At first he was playing along, but now I think he's starting to believe it. While Guybrush holds court in the scum bar, I'm going to take a walk up to the lookout. Perhaps a fresh perspective will help me work out what's really going on here. There's that, and you'll look here and you'll see the circus tent. So what we want to do is head that direction back down the same way you came up. And way this path and then right here is another memoir third oh, I love visiting or the second circus. memoir but after meeting the fettuccine brothers I think I prefer to stay in the audience then I come back around and head to the, the entrance of circus tent When I get this cannon lined up to where it'll shoot you through the hoops and you'll land in the water. Does that work pretty good there, Meatball? Okay, so then come to this barrel. This is your I never expected to take part in third a memoir. Circus, but Alfredo and Bill talked me into becoming a human cannonball. I can still taste the gunpowder. Then you want to come and talk to the brothers when they're done talking. Yeah. Welcome! Come in, come in! Your timing could not be better. How would you like a chance to win a prize? Sure. A grand prize? <laughs> a glorious grand prize of 10,000 pieces of eight. Eh, or thereabouts. By being the first to try our death defying. But perfectly safe, huh? Melee Island Spectacular! The latest, greatest creation of the amazing. Acrobatic, fabulous, flying, phenomenal, <laughs> Fatuccini brothers. That's us. When you are ready to become a superstar, talk to my brother Bill about your costume. <laughs> and my brother Alfredo to go through the routine. We'll be ready when you are. You have to be in costume to have you never been to the circus. All of the performers are expected to dress up. It adds so much spectacle to our acts. The most important part of your costume is the safety helmet. That is absolutely non-negotiable for anyone who's being fired from a Fettuccini Brothers a cannon. Well, you do here. That way you get spared a headache and we get spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. What's the prize if I it win? Is an unbelievable, unprecedented, life changing 10,000 pieces of eight. Enough to make all your melee add and dreams come true. Did you really have that kind of, of coin? Of course we do. I am insulted you would even think that we would try to cheat you. Now stop bad mouthing our circus and try <laughs> the challenge. I hold a circus on an island full of pirates. The pirates and the circuses are a perfect defeat. That's why you just have to think about it logically. Pirates are all about death-defying acts of courage and skill, balancing on narrow beams high in the air and facing down the ferocious animals. But uh, honestly, what pirates love most of all is watching other people make a fool of themselves. <laughs> Which I'm pond. about to do. That is why we want to include the soccer. <laughs> the members of the audience. You can ring that bell all you want, but the challenge doesn't count until you get into the costume and put on your safety helmet. Fine. So, what do you say? 
What is the Melee Island Spectacular? What is the Melee Island Spectacular? It's the part of our new circus routine inspired by stories about the legend of Monkey Island. We take a volunteer from the audience and put them through a few teensy wincy challenges to win the grand prize. It may not make you as famous as the legend of Monkey Island, but everyone has to start somewhere. What do I have to do? Once you're in costume, head to the starting line and ring the bell to begin. Then you must climb the ladder, cross the tight rope, and ring the second bell. Oi. After that, you must leap across the platforms and ring the third bell. Oh my gosh. Then slide down the wire and ring the last bell by that cannon over there. Oh boy. Then it's time for the grand finale. You must climb into the cannon, launch yourself through all of the rings, and land safely in the water. It couldn't be simpler. Uh-huh. What happens if I fall, dude? You hit the ground, dummy. I'm At coming. Your and bruises are a small price I'm to a pay rum for fame and dummy. fortune. We don't expect you to succeed on your first attempt, so you can try as many times as you like. Okay. All right, he said costume first, so you're going to go over here to the left. You're going to find the costume. Then you're going to go back to the brothers, and right behind them is the clothing chest. You're going to go to costumes. And you're going to find it right there. See the helmet. You're going to equip it. Like so. And then you're going to look like... Something like this. All right, here we go. And I'm not good at this, so here we go. They're actually drawing it. Did we make this too easy? Can you find your way? Oh, I fell. I got to start over. You want to try again? All right, here we go. They're actually doing it. I hope you have a head for height. Oh, oh I fell again. Oh my gosh. Disqualified. All right, here we go. You can do it. I did it! Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So really you want to do this in 25 seconds or less for a accommodation, but I'm not going to worry about it because this is the best time I've seen for myself. All right, we're just... One thing you don't want to forget is you don't want to forget to come back to these guys to... The brothers to get your prize. Now see here, I know we said that the grand prize was ten thousand pieces of eight, but but we forget to mention the administration fees. We did. Oh, we did. And the mandatory Tri Island Entertainment tax. Canon maintenance charges. A custom cleaning. Voluntary compulsory contribution to the Melee Island Circus Orphans Foundation. And the freight charges. So taking all of that into the account, your prize totals four hundred and four pieces of eight. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Oh, thank you. So then you got your four hundred four pieces of eight. Back for another run of the Melee Island Spectacular? Uh, no. We're out of here, dude. Let me eat a little bit. So when you're done with the circus, come out, back up toward the mountain. And go 
left here, and you're going to come toward the shipyard. See it there? You're going to go across the bridge. And as you approach Stan's previously owned vessels, you're going to come to this barrel. And this is your. Let me get this right. Fourth memoir. This is where I purchased my first ever pirate ship, the Mighty Sea Monkey. Well, actually, it wasn't all that mighty, but it had a lot of personality. Your fourth memoir. Howdy. The name's Stan, and then you're going to look son. right over here at this rowboat here. And on this barrel is your you third journal. Despite having next to nothing left to rely on, I've managed to make it all the way to the Bay of Melee. I hadn't given our honeymoon ship much thought since we got to Melee. I barely remember arriving. But here it is. Anchored and overpriced at Stan's previously owned vessels. Ordinarily, I'd have marched down there and given that gabby little grafter a piece of my mind. But I needed to be discreet. So, I've arranged a distraction. While Stan's busy fussing over his malfunctioning grog rowboat, I'll be able to sneak aboard my ship. For once, I don't have the luxury of planning ahead, but I'll figure the rest out as I go. Guybrush, my plunder bunny. I'll be back. Plunder bunny? Huh. And so after you read that, you're going to wa want to walk over the grog vending machine. <laughs> it's right next to the store here. You're going to want to insert the coin, and here comes your grog. For an accommodation, we're going to step back and drink this. So, cheers everybody. Here we go. Chug a lug. Things are about to get weird. Yo ho ho and oh my gosh, things are getting weird. Things are getting very weird. I better put this stuff down. Um okay. this might need a bucket. I might I don't feel very well. I might Oh my gosh, look at the boys getting getting a little groggy over there. <laughs> Step aside, please. Time is money. Time is money. And you're gonna stay tipsy for a good good while. Oh, yep, there it went. I tried to get a little crap, couldn't get him. We've been getting some good when you've made a decision. I'll be here. Oh, Carrie, I got something for you. <laughs> Take a walk, clear your head. I'll be waiting. Yeah, we're trying to clear our heads, Stan. I'll take a minute. Oh, I think I got a two for one on that one. Oh, <laughs> you all got me. Uh, and I am still freaking drunk here. Yeah, miss, low craft. Yeah, miss.
All right, I think we're sobering up a little. Well, I am. Well, I'll take a drink a little bit later. <laughs> he's still, he's still having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Meatball? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my god, he's peeking. Alright, so then, um, once you sober up, you want to speak. Hey, oh! My new favorite customer. I've done it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Step aside, please. Uh, Time is money. Excuse me, sir. I need to speak to you. I get it. Buying a ship is a big decision. Take all the time you need. Some of these ships are from Sea of Thieves. Well, that's why the sign says Stan's previously owned vessels, friend. I buy boats from anyone who's looking to sell. No questions asked. Unfortunately, I can't take on any new stock until I've cleared out some space here on the jetty. Maybe then we can arrange a part exchange. You'd give me gold for my ship? Gold? No, no, no. Pieces of aid are the accepted currency on Melee Island. But like I said, I'm not looking for trade-ins while I have so many quality vessels to sell. Mm -hmm. But hey, that shouldn't stop you from browsing our selection. What kind of self-respecting seafarer could say no to ships of this caliber? Hmm. You get lot of, a lot of customers? You bet. Ever since the legend of Monkey Island arrived, crews have come from far and wide. Everyone stops by once they catch word of our amazing deals. I'd take a vacation, but I just couldn't bear to walk away from this place and break the hearts of so many pirates dreaming of their next ship. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that reminds me. How's your shopping spree going? Anything caught your eye? I haven't made up my mind well, yet. Well, be sure to let your old buddy Stan know when you have. I'd love to tell the boss I was able to help you walk away happy. Boss, but the sign says... Oh, that. That's just a formality. Believe me, I'd change it if I could, but you know how things are. Now, let's get back to your purchase. What are your terms and conditions, sir? It's like I always say. If you don't keep my ships in good condition, we'll be parting on bad terms. Just kidding. Mm. That's a little brand and marketing joke right there. Very little. Seriously, don't worry about the paperwork. Let me worry about it. All of our ships come packed with pamphlets full of boring stuff you'll never read. What about refunds? Tell you what. If you're sailing a ship from Stan's previously owned vessels and it sinks, and everyone is killed, we'll talk. Let's go look at his ships. So you'll interact with I know, I know. This, it can well, be so you'll interact with four choose. ships. This little rowboat and then the three ships lined up down the dock here. So we'll start with this one. Whoops! <laughs> Don't mind me. Ah, this is one of our compact models, but what she lacks in capacity, she makes up for in convenience. Her star feature is the drink dispenser attached to the back. Why sail all the way to a tavern just to fill your tankard when you can have grog on demand? Unfortunately, I can't sell this one right away. Some lout jammed a doubloon in the coin slot and we're waiting on replacement parts. Such a pity. Mm-hmm. Salesman, tell ya. A nice looking. I could do this all day. You can simply smell the history rolling off this beauty. Unfortunately, her logbook was heavily water damaged, so she's as mysterious as she is lovely. I bought her at a discount because none of her cannons are operational, but that makes her perfect for a pleasure cruise. Huh. I hear you, dude. Look at this one. Black Pearl. Look out, world. Stan is coming through. I'll just be squeezing past now. Magnificent, ain't she? This is one of the most notorious and fearsome ships across the whole of the Caribbean. Oh. And definitely not in a licensed gun. I can't get up there. How'd Stan get a hold of a Never Look at this ship. Well, this is a ship. One, two, three, five, 
10 cannons on deck. Because where else he's got cannons. Alright, we better keep this uh, party going here. Take all the time you need. Okay, Stan, we will. I'm on my way. Would you mind getting out of my way? You have a keen eye, friend. <laughs> That's the headless monkey. The headless featured monkey. Featured in great shipwrecks of our oh century. Oh my God, this is awesome. A very prestigious catalog of naval calamity. According to the logbook, she was sunk, salvaged, restored, crewed, sailed, scuttled again, and now she exists as some kind of weird ghost galley. I don't know how or why. Oh, look at I this. Harpoons, cannons on the front. Uh-oh. Look out. Slightly transparent. She's got it all. Ow. We want this when one. When you made a decision, I'll be here. What do you guys think about this ship? I like it. Matches my character. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, this is cool. Headless monkey. Very cool. Alright, so after you do all that, interact with the four ships, you'll want to go back and talk to Stan. I get it. Buying a ship is a big decision. Take all the time you need. Alright, let's talk financing. As you've seen, we offer a wide range of options, ranging from premium to super deluxe premium quality. Our top-of-the-line model is the Black Pearl, which is competitively priced at 20,000 pieces of eight. What? That's daylight robbery. That's economics, my friend. You have to spend money to make money. But if you don't have that level of disposable income, well... An example of our budget models would be the Headless Monkey. Absolutely within your price range and the perfect ship for your needs. That's why... That's why... what? That's why it breaks my heart to inform you that she's already been sold. What? I'm just waiting on her new owner to collect her. Sorry, but that's life. Perhaps we can discuss some of the other options. That's the one we wanted. Fine, let's just... Get out of here. Let's go check out the zip line. So yeah, you'll want to go to the zip line up here. And for the moment, um, let's see. We'll, there is a rock up here on the right, across here, that you'll want to take a seat the home on. Of the fearless Captain Smirk. He has a few bad habits, but there's almost nothing he doesn't know about sword fighting. This is the fifth memoir right here. So you'll grab your fifth memoir and then you'll come over to the zip line. Take the zip line across. And you're just continue along the path. It's kind of a long path. Until you see a red sign. Barely see it right there. Go down to that red sign. And right here, at the little ink thing, this is, okay, that was, oh, I think we, we set up that one memoir early, early. This one's the fifth memoir. Hook Sorry. Out. Home to my old shipmate Meat Hook. Uh, That's a very flashy sign for someone who says they hate visitors. That's kind of a really cool looking screenshot right there, if you ask me. 
But anyway, after you do your memoir here, I'm going to take the zip line across. To Hook Island. Okay. Once you get across the zip line, you're gonna come and open the Z door. And this is if you're here to be amazed by Meat the Hook. natural wonders of Meat Hook's astonishing animal attractions, you're too late. We're out of business, and soon I'll be out of here for good. <sighs> so if you go... Hey, where is it? Here? Yeah, right here. This is the After Lechuk kidnapped sixth Elaine, menoir. I came here and asked Meathook to join my crew. Convincing him I should be the captain was weirder than I expected. And then we're gonna speak to. I already told you we're closed. If you're here to quake in the terror of the murderous winged devil known as the Beast, you're out of luck. It's gone. What is this place exactly? Not so long ago, it was Meat Hook's House of Astonishing Animal Attractions. That's me. I'm Meat Hook. <laughs> but then the Chuck's crew turned up looking for trouble. They broke in here, spilled my breakfast, Ooh. and started ransacking the place. Spilled his breakfast. I got so mad. I had no choice but to unleash the raw power and merciless fury of our star attraction, the Beast. Did it work? Sure it worked. Nobody except the legend of Monkey Island is brave enough to look the Beast in the eye and live to tell the tale. They ran like crazy. The trouble is, once freed from its vault, the Beast is unstoppable. It escaped into the wild to seek new prey, and now I'm ruined. <laughs> Why can't you go and find the beast? Are you kidding me? The beast is unfathomably savage. It almost put me out of business years ago by mauling a tourist. The only one around here who is fearless enough to tame the beast is the legend of Monkey Island. Obviously, he was the first person I asked for help, but he never replied. He's uh, very engrossed at the moment. Oh, yeah? Well, you'd think he'd be a little more friendly to his old crewmates. He and I traveled all the way to Monkey Island together. Of course, he did do most of the actual work. This place has seen better days. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. LeChuck's crew really tore up my home. Without my star attraction, I don't know how I'm going to rebuild. You don't have any other exhibits? Nope. It's too dangerous to keep them anywhere near the beast. All I have left is my talking tattoo, Roger. And he doesn't feel like saying much. <laughs> it's only going to get worse when the townsfolk realize I've unleashed an unstoppable killing machine to roam freely across Melee Island. It breaks my heart to say it, but that's why I've decided to leave. My new ship is already bought and paid for. Ah, soon I'll be setting sail for a new life. Yeah, we want that ship, so why are you still here? Go outside alone at night with a ferocious beast on the loose? Ha! Are you kidding me? You must be even crazier than you look. Who are you saying looks crazy, dude? I will. Alright, so. I find after this, I need to go back and speak to Stan. So that's what I'm going to do. Because he has the ship that wants. Yeah.
I get it. Buying a ship is a big decision. Take all the time you need. Sorry, but I couldn't possibly divulge that kind of confidential client information. Ooh. All right, all right, take it easy. If you must know, it was purchased by a guy named Meat Hook. He runs a Meat little Hook. place over on Hook Island. <laughs> He told me that some unfortunate circumstances require him to set sail, and pronto. So I sold him the ship to do it. What if I outbid him? Listen, I've got a reputation to think of. If I pulled out of a completed transaction, Stan's previously owned vessels would be a laughing stock. Tell you what, if you deal with Meat Hook directly and he gives you his bill of sale, I'll sign the headless monkey over to you. Everybody wins. Oh, I'll deal with you. Meathead. You could probably still catch Meathead. Meathead before he leaves. If not, hey, I've got plenty more ships for sale. Okay, we gotta catch Meat Hook before he leaves. Back to the zip lines. Back to Meat Hook's house. All right, let's go talk to Meat Hook. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? I think I heard the beast. Meat Hook. I already told you we're closed. I'm if here about here, the sorry, headless monkey. But that shit belongs to me now. I needed to leave. With the beast gone. There's nothing left for me here. What if I can bring the beast back home? You? Har, 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 har. That's a good one. Even if you could somehow tame the beast, there's a bunch of preparation work you'd have to handle to stop it escaping again. I'm game if you are. Wow, you really mean it. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not even the legend of Monkey Island has ever been this nice to me. Okay, let's do it. But I'm in charge. I'll give the orders and you can handle the uh, manual labor. Uh-huh. First things first. We need to fix up that cage. Get rid of those broken cutlasses and find some planks to repair the door. I bet there are plenty lying around outside. All right, so after you get that, you'll come over here to these cutlasses. There's one there and there. So you'll want to remove these. Just remove the cutlasses. There's to be five cutlasses that you remove. And I have wooden planks on me, but if you come here and you don't have wooden planks on you, you just go outside the house over here and there are wooden planks that you can gather here because once you remove the uh, cutlasses, um, you'll need to repair uh, right where you remove them. Just like you would repair your ship. Don't forget right here. Mother of Pearl, the lever that shuts the door is broken. We'll need some kind of handle to repair it. Something sturdy, too. Driftwood won't last five seconds. Go and see what you can find. All right, so basically he's talking about this lever right here. Um, so your plank will not work there. It's not strong enough, so you'll go out the door. 
go to the right in the woods over here and you'll see a deadish looking tree it's the mop tree and this is where you can break off a tree stick and get your stick to pair the le lever with this looks like meatballs upstairs in the house and that's what you'll do. You'll just bring it straight to the lever. Here it. Okay, listen up. This next part is of the utmost importance. I need you to bring me some concentrated banana grease. Concentrated it banana grease. The banana kind. The banana kind. Oh my gosh. So what you'll do here is you'll just start looking around his house upstairs. And downstairs interacting with what you can. Hey, look, we just got lucky. We just found banana grease in the first one we opened. And you will just take it to him. Give ah, it to him. You found it. This stuff goes great with a bowl of the captain's crunch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Captain's also, crunch. Me an appetite. <laughs> All that's left now is to capture the beast. Its lair is in a cave near here. But you'll be torn apart if you go in unprepared. Lucky for you, there's a shanty that helps to quell its murderous rage. Murderous rage. Down, uh, somewhere. All right, so we're going to need a, a shanty. So just look around the house. Um, if you'll go upstairs and <laughs> look under the meat hooks pillow. There's your shanty, and it has added a shanty. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna go look for his beast. We're gonna equip that shanty, summon the beast. We're gonna go look, oh, you hear him, the beast? Supposedly playing the shanty calms the beast, so apparently we will be safe. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit scared right now. Look at those claw marks. What the heck? Uh, making scary noises. Oh god, there he is. Look guys. See him? Oh my god. Wait, well, sh <laughs> Come on, beast. Calm down. It's okay. Come on down. We got to get you back to Meat Hook. Come on. Can't hear them panting. Oh, it's supposed to calm him down. Holy crap, should we run or what? Oh my goodness, look! Look, oh my goodness! How cute! Hi beast, how you doing? So once you cover the beast and then you'll want to give him a good petting because he was such a good boy to come down. Or girl, I'm not sure. And then eventually it will unlock an accommodation. It takes a little bit of petting. Try to pet him some. Oh, it should unlock. There it goes. It unlocked for me. I don't know if you guys can carry the beast and pet it and see if that will unlock for I don't know, but be very careful not to fall off into the water as we walk back down.
Is it working, little crap? I'm not getting anything. All right, stop petting and then start petting again and see if it works. Oh, yep, I got it. All right. Yeah, it takes a little while for it to, uh, to give it to you. So just just know when you start petting the beast, it's going to take a little petting. Um, it takes a little while to get the accommodation. Sometimes I'll like, stop petting and then start petting again. Come on, beast, give it up to the big meatball that so we can give you to the meat hook. <laughs> Did you get it? Okay, here we go. Thank you. All right. All right, Meat Hook, we've got your beast back for you. <laughs> Did you notice? Stand there, get it back in the cage, and shut the door. <laughs> so then you'll put him back in the cage, and you'll use your lever that you fixed. I don't believe it. You have the guts, the courage. The sheer audacity to face down the beast in its lair and wrestle it back into captivity! And you're still alive! Now I can rebuild my shattered dreams and make this place the tourist trap it was always destined to be! Here, take my bill of sale! Thank you! I don't need a ship anymore! I'm staying right here on Hook Island to guard the beast <laughs> and rake in the silver. Alright, so he just gave us his deed of sale and your quest book will update. Now we want to go back to Stan because we have the bill of sale. So, if you right. hurry, you could probably still catch Meat Hook before he leaves. If not, hey, I've got plenty more ships for sale. So, we've got the bill of sale, so we're going to go down and say, I have the Headless Monkey's bill of sale. Well, aren't you the shrewd negotiator? Congratulations! And now that you've got a ship, it's time to talk about all the extra features you'll be needing. We've been getting some great deals in stock. 
Ooh, now I really shouldn't have left these on display. They're actually reserved for a very important client who's one of my most loyal customers. But you know what? I really feel like we've bonded today. There's a genuine connection forming between us. Mm -hmm. That's why I couldn't bear to see you go into battle without these cannons. I just don't know how I'd live with myself. If you want them, they're yours. Uh-huh. Or did you have a different purchase in mind? These are bargains from any angle. That's a very shiny wheel. You know, nothing screams pirate like standing at the helm of your ship, gripping the wheel tightly as you steer this way and that. Especially but if it's an me, obsidian. Have you thought what would happen if that wheel suddenly exploded, skewering you with a million deadly shards? I've seen it happen. That's why I always keep at least one of these in stock. You're not just buying a new wheel, you're buying peace of mind. You can't put a price on that. Now, has anything else caught your eye? Uh, Stan. Ooh, one of these beauties caught what your about interest? that capstan stand that everybody wants? How about that? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Stan, my ship already has a capstan. No, that's Don't not what I'm thinking. What she doesn't have? She doesn't have a bona fide obsidian capstan with improved ratcheting, easy glide rotational action, and custom grip intensifiers, of course. Yeah! You've heard the saying, way anchor. Well, this, my friend, is the only way to anchor. Exactly. What else can I show you today? What else can I show you? I am a fan of high quality furnishings. Now this is an item for the discerning ship captain. Why cram all your outfits in a moldy old clothing chest when you could store them in style? That's solid wood from a genuine tree, an unpickable lock and key mechanism, and just look how spacious it is. Is it big enough to play hide and seek, Stan? Uh, sure, absolutely it is. Allow me to offer a demonstration. Okay. There. See? Plenty of room to hide. And I'm waving my arms around, too. In fact, now that I think about it, I think you could fit an entire crew in here. <laughs> Maybe add a little table, some seating. Really, carve yourself out some personal space aboard ship. It can be so important to take five minutes of you time, you know? Yeah. It's so warm and cozy, I almost don't want to leave. Yeah, so well. If I stay in here, who's going to sell you this cover? Uh-oh, looks like we've run into a little technical issue. Nothing yep. I can't handle, just give me a second. Okay. Uh, sorry, occupado. Stan, I've had about all your salesmanship I can take. And the fact that you won't give me that obsidian cap, Stan. Take a short walk off a long pier. Take a long walk off a short pier, I meant. Yeah. Alright. Bye, Stan. Anyway, guys and ga gals, that is an accommodation um, if you do that part right there. All right, well, since Stan's gone, we're going to, I don't know, do piratey things like come right over here on the side of his shop and steal his office key. And then we are going to go into his shop. And then we're going to be like, oh, look, there's a safe. How can we open that safe? So we're going to come right here, grab his sales ledger. <clears throat> I'm going to go to the last page. At the bottom right hand corner, it gives you the combination to the safe. Left two, you're going to want to memorize this. Left two, right two, left three. Left two, right two, left three. Left two. Right two, left three. And there you go. You're going to get the idol of many hands. 
and then you're gonna have a visitor right outside despite some Karina methods you have claimed the idol of many hands from it I shall use it to pep the potency of my potion there you go Karina The legendary trial of treasure huntery still lies ahead. Do not be fooled by its name. It's a challenge that will test your knowledge of these unfamiliar shores. Do not be discouraged by the legendary trial of the sword. Out in the forest, someone waits to guide your blade on its path to glory. All right, good job, everybody. So we're gonna go right up the hill here. And this is where I should have told you to grab this memoir right here on this rock, making it the- The home of the fearless Captain Smirk. He has a few bad habits. Seventh, there's almost nothing he doesn't know about sword fighting. Uh, we're gonna go knock on the door and see if I still have that sword. Knock on the door. Oh, gather your crew before continuing. Open up, it's the rum dums. Disturbing me at this time of night. Oh, <laughs> show a little respect. So you saw where did I put this? Oh, there it is. Or open that freaking dude. What do you want? <laughs> well, you got my attention. What do you want? I hear you offer sword training, dear. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. What? Maybe that was true a long time ago. But not anymore. Who do you think cut down the trees, planed the wood, hauled it to the river, and rebuilt the bridge with their own two hands? Me. Why? That's who. Why did you go to all that trouble? Because I thought maybe I could keep away all the pirate wannabes who come to my door and bother me. Hmm. So much for that idea. Mm -hmm. Now let me guess. You want me to train you to be better than the sword master? I want to be better than the legend of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. <laughs> Listen, there isn't a pirate alive better than the legend of Monkey Island. To even come close would take years of practice and the quickest wits in the Caribbean. But business has been slow since Guybrush became governor, I guess. I am getting a little low on funds. Oh, really? Well, I have plenty of money. You do, huh? Tell you what. It won't help you match up to the legend of Monkey Island. But if you can pay my fee, I'll teach you what I can. If, that is, you can prove you're serious by showing me your mighty pirate sword. So do it. Mighty pirate now, what do you sword. Want? Hold on, I'm trying to pull it out. There. That's what I wanted to see. A blade fit for the legend of Monkey Island. I guess you can come inside. Oh, yeah, you just present your sword here. If you don't have the sword, there's an armory right here where you can equip the sword. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Um... Okay, the eighth memoir is this little cage right here. Like a chicken this cage to me. This is your eighth memoir. Swordmaster. Oh, just looking at all this training equipment makes my muscles sore. Okay, now we should speak to him. Oh, we gotta pay him. So, okay, pay him to begin training. Gather your crew before continuing.
here guys over here Oh, they're getting their memoirs. Alright. Hey. I remember the day Guybrush Threepwood came knocking on my door. Just like you did. Uh-huh. I thought he was a wimpy little maggot who wouldn't last ten seconds. I think seconds you're a wimpy little maggot. Master. <coughs> but now he's the legend of Monkey Island. And a role model for pirates everywhere. Just goes to show what you can accomplish if you believe in yourself. Now, I'm sure you're a big fan, and the idea of facing a living legend churns your guts up inside. Turn something well, I'd up. I say you've got to face that fear and use it to make you stronger. Just yeah. want you to know I don't do this with just anyone. But I'm going to put you up against the legendary oh. machine. The back. Oh my God! What the? What's going on I here? I think we can skip the basics. You've come this far, and any pirate can swing a lump of metal around. What are you about to do, dude? It's not just what you do; it's what you say that matters. Captain Smirk. Let's start simple. Use your sword to block the machine's attacks. Fine. I attack. You defend. That's how this part works. Got it. like a scarecrow on a on rollers holding a plunger a very nice sword oh he's a little quick there oh my gosh I don't know what I'm gonna do get by this I wonder if we all block if it'll give us the combination. It just does this. It takes a while. You could try it. I don't. Since he asked for the whole crew earlier. That's what I was kind of thinking.
steal. Now it's your turn. Attack the machine. <laughs> but what if, while we were fighting, I were to suddenly say, My sword play will amaze you? That wasn't a retort. When I say, My sword play will amaze you, you should come back at me with something like, Yeah, I'm amazed you've lasted this long. My turn to attack. Let's try another. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. No, no, try something more like... Well, everyone loves a good joke. My turn to attack. Let's try another. My sword play will amaze you. Come at me again. That's more like it. Now, try insulting me. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You've learned everything I can teach you. All you can do now is get out there and learn as many insults as you can. Here's a map with locations that are popular among sword fighters. Go and pick some fights. When you're ready to challenge the sword master, you'll know it. As for me, I should probably fix up the machine. It's been a long time since it's taken such a beating. Now go on, get out of here. I don't mean to go on and get. All right, so right here, your quest book will update. And go on and get out of here, like you said. We're gonna go right back up to the zip line up here. And we're gonna cross the zip line, and when we get to the other side, we're gonna have a skull talking to us, and the light's gonna turn green. And we're gonna learn how to insult and retort. Here's the skull. Tower mortal, for you have strayed into the presence of Murray, the demonic. Oh, it's you again. That useless body you found for me got smashed to pieces. Talk about shoddy craftsmanship. Well, I washed up on a beach. There was this whole thing with a hermit crab before I gnawed my way up a vine to freedom. I won't bore you. Anyway, now that you're here, you can provide me with some entertainment. Spots like this are great for sword fighting contests. Alright, I'm going in a sword fight. Usually takes me one and a half times around. Fighter. Oh yeah, you have if to you talk to, to him. Talk my bad. Enough. I'm ready to fight. Time. Let's see if your comments are more cutting than your cutlass. Think you can beat me? Oh, hey, hey, over here, Let's dude. Find out. Need to catch your breath. I'm gonna enjoy this. If I were you, I'd give up now. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. Wow, 
Even I think that was cruel. You won't win without a good insult. Only from laughing at you. Than you. One more, and you're finished. Come here, you. And it is okay to lose because you're actually learning it. Like you see it right there. It says new insult learned. You have to learn twenty ins or ten insults and ten retorts. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow get to it we're gonna follow this map around go around it each one of these little dudes and um, we're going to learn 10 insults and 10 retorts like I said it might take me around a time and a half to go get them all to be able to fight the big fight in the end Did you come here to talk or did you here comes another battle? I need the to fight. Hurtful remarks, the soul crushing observations, they sustain me. <laughs> You'll rue the day we cross paths. I came here to be insulted. Don't get insulted. That pig's Glad to hear you stay in touch with your parents. Oh, that's not even right. Is that the best you can do? Called my parents pigs. No one has faced me and lived. Glad to hear you. Face me and live. I'm what did you say? This is getting embarrassing. I've met pigs that are scarier than you. This doesn't look good. <laughs> They're speechless. <laughs> Assault me again, dude. Stop messing about and taunt me. I'll taunt you. With breath that bad, I'm not surprised. Oh, new retort learns. Breath that bad, I'm <laughs> not surprised. Get out of here. Ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. You need some better insults. Get back in your hole. Going down the road. Did you come here to talk or did you here comes Came here another to fight. battle? The hurtful remarks, the soul crushing observations, they sustain me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get it. Fighter. Think you can beat me? Yeah, I do. My deeds are spoken up worldwide. Don't stop now, more insults! I 
I don't know what to say. All right. Well, say something. Yeah, I'm hitting below the belt, dude. Let's go. You won't be so lucky next time. Yeah, go on, get out of here. Nobody got time for that. Not bad, but you still need more training. Yeah, I know. Get back in your. Okay, we're going down the road. Did you come here to talk or did you I smell another sword fight? Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> I'll never turn down a good fight. No one has ever beaten me in combat. So this is your first time? Oh, that's low, dude. Get out of here. Done with you, dude. Come find me when you're ready to try again. Yeah, go back in your hole. Alright, we're going down the road. So yeah, you'll just keep fighting these until you learn more insults and more. Did you come here to talk or did I smell another sword fight? Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! 
on God. I see a sword, but I don't hear insults. Yeah? Oh, glad to hear you stay in touch with your parents. Don't let them intimidate you. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. That's more like it. I... I don't know what to say. Ain't you got something to say? I sure do. I'm the greatest fighter Too on the seas. you met me on dry land. That was low blow, dude. New retort learn. You're not fit to lick my boots. This is your last chance. Not fit to lick your boots? I'm just gonna click the Come one with the you. button. Or the button. The yellow dot. <laughs> this is going on wrong enough. Get out of here. Come find me when you're ready to try again. Okay, we're coming. That's to the circus. Oh, here we go. Let's see how many we have. So this is one thing you want to do is go check your deeds to see how many you have. Go to Tall Tales. So we've got 15 of 20. We only need five more to be able to fight the main character. Let's fight. You'll ruin the day we cross paths. My deeds are spoken of worldwide. Got him good on that one. Dude, over here. Pay attention. Focus. There you go. You out of insults already? Nope. You're not I'll fit to lick my boots. Really? New retort learned? I need four, I think. To catch your breath. Take this. No one has ever beaten me in combat. Oh, is it your first time? Yeah, that's what I thought. I should have picked the yellow dot though. That was so cruel. All right, let's go, dude. Come on. Ah, uh -uh. dude, right here. I 
That's not true! Back when you can play longer. All right, we're going on to the next one. I think we still have four. So. I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> With you. Yeah, I got a bone to pick with you. With you. Dude, you're gonna wipe the floor with me. What did you say? I don't know. I just picked the yellow dot. <laughs> I don't get it. I need three more. No one has ever beat me in combat. Gotcha. Was was that it? I'm the greatest fighter on the sea. This is your last chance. The greatest fighter on this sea. Dad, you met me on dry land. That was truly devastating. I loved it. That really hurts. I did quit. Already, I hope you're better at cleaning than you are at fighting. Better at cleaning than you are at Come fighting. When you've learned the rules, new retort learned. So, I think there's two more that needs to be learned. Get out of here, dude. Not you. Better luck next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go back in your hall. Okay, we're going up the road. But you keep doing this until you learn 10 insults, 10 retorts, and then the Skull Murray will tell you that you're ready um, to fight the, the main one. I believe I only need two more. Gonna cross the zip line again and start at the beginning. And it remembers all the ones that you've already learned, so no worries. Did you come here to talk? Or I smell another sword fight. Let's see how cruel you can be. <laughs> hey, I've got a bone to pick with you. Take your life. I'm gonna enjoy this. I need one more. That is pathetic. Try harder. No one has faced me and lived.
Good shot. Remember your training. My sword play will amaze you. This is your last chance. I bet there's more where that came from. Hey, no fair! win without a good insult. It's about time you got one. Eric got it. Yep, I got this it too. Is going on long enough. Really? Yeah. So it does count for the crew. Did you get it, Meatball? Better luck next time. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to go yeah, down to the it. Wow, that's awesome. We'll have to go down to the next one. For him to tell me I'm ready to go fight. So I have to tell us that we're ready to go fight the Swordmaster. I can't hear the audio. You'll rue the day we cross paths. I'm here to take your life. Came here to be insulted. Okay? I hope you're better at cleaning than you are at fighting. You're not fit to lick my boots. Here you stay in touch with your parents. Oh, that wasn't even nice. No one has ever beaten me in combat. Oh, it must be your first time then. I've seen enough. Yeah. You might just be ready to face the Swordmaster without being totally annihilated. Her location is a closely guarded secret, but I stole some instructions that should help you find her. Try and ignore the bite marks. Now go, challenge the Swordmaster, and bring them to their knees with a relentless barrage of your most merciless insults. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, like you just heard him say, you're ready to fight the Swordmaster and your quest book should be updated. 
<clears throat> so you'll go to this page and it'll tell you how to get there. So we want to go to the forest entrance. We want entrance. We log, pull a lever. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. This controller, come on, Ren. Oh no, we don't want to go down there. Bad. So basically, you see the big rock. You see the scaffolding that we were on earlier. And all that right there. And you just want to come here to this little thing that has artwork. Art utensils. That. And then you'll turn right here is the entrance for us. Want to go in here? You want to take first right, uh, go across the log, and you're going to want to take a very sharp, hard left. So you don't want to go there. You want to here. Come to the campsite, just keep going left. You'll see the ghost figure, but you want to go right. Wait. Hold on. Oh no, you keep following the path and then go across the log. Sorry. Keep following the path. Go come across another log. <clears throat> Then you're going to find yellow flowers. Then you're going to see a ghost. And he's going to go left. But you're going to go right. And then you're going to come up to this. And LeChuck's going to laugh at you. You're going to turn and look to the left. And here is your fourth journal. <sighs> oh, they've de I suppose it's not safe to go back to the mansion now. I don't know why I left that letter, or who might ever find it. But just like these journals, <laughs> it beats talking to myself. Staying off the beaten path is easy. Finding the Swordmaster's hut, on the other hand. I know Carla enjoys her privacy, but this is ridiculous. I think it's time for Plan C. But while I'm here, I can at least find a good solid tree branch. Nothing as sturdy as a sword, of course, but enough to rattle a few bones if I need to. There you go. And so then we're going to want to, um, here's your lever to fix this log bridge. Yeah. What's that? Gonna fix the bridge. We're going to cross. And we're gonna go fight the Swordmaster. Remember Port Royal? I remember you still owe me a new hat. Make sure if there's any journals or anything here. No. So I'm gonna cross this bridge. Ooh, and there's Ridzi. What you got, Ridzi? I got it, little crap. Oh, what did he say? I didn't hear what he said. He's gonna say that. Oh. Good. 
been a good one. Keep away from me. People tremble whenever I speak. My wisest enemies run away. Even before they smell your breath. Keep away from me. I will not keep away from you, sir. Only from laughing at you, dude. No more. No more. Yeah, there's more. I'm never so salty. That's right. Don't you get it? Go back wherever you came from. We're the only ones left. We give up. You win. Good job, guys. That should send LeChuck a message. Don't mess with the legend of Monkey Island or his friends. Well, this sure wasn't how I expected things to go. But now you can tell the pirate leaders you fought with the Swordmaster. Nobody ever said it had to be on different sides. And this medallion will be your proof. If you're trying to complete the three trials, you'll need it. Yeah. It seems LeChuck suspects something of our plans, but he'll not prevent us from creating a truly magnificent mixture, and Carla's medallion will play its part. He'll just give her the medallion. Did receive a quest update. The legendary trial of treasure huntery still lies ahead. Do not be fooled by its name. It's a challenge that will test your knowledge of these unfamiliar shores. All right, we should get an updated quest. There it is. Checkpoint saved. Okay, so now we're going to do the monkey. All right, so after that, you want to just turn away from them. I'm gonna cross this bridge. I come over here. Get up here. Get up here. Gosh. And you wanna sit here to take in Home of Carlos Sword Master. I don't know anyone who's ever been inside. I guess nobody around here likes uninvited guests. So we want to go back across Hog Bridge. And just follow the path to the light. And see where the ghost is digging. That's where you Egg. Then you will 
grab the pages and you'll get a quest book update. And when you're leaving here, and we're gonna leave the chest here. <laughs> um, see where that light is? You'll just turn to the left and take in the this tent is the exact spot and where I discovered the memoir. legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. I still have it in a drawer, somewhere. I've gotten all the commendations so far. That's cool. Wagon. Alright, so we need to go back out of here. Back to that scaffolding area. the yellow flower there I remember crossing this log this camp fire There's the other log we This. Like a big circle. Oh, here we go. Here's the entrance. Okay. There's a scaffolding area. There is wagon. There's the wagon. I'm gonna come back here, wagon. I want to head north. And so, if you look, you'll see where it talks about the wagon, two dead trees. So, we're going to head north. That's not it. All right. I always take the wrong turn there. And for two dead. Sh There's the knives that way. And there are the two dead trees. Again. So we're going to come down here. Going to dig. Right here by this cage. Gonna grab the papers. Aspect updated. Uh, 
All right, we're going to go back. Um, I missed something. We're going to go back to that lamp. We're going to get our last journal. So there's the lamp. Turn right. And you're going to come right to this rock right here. And this is going to be your last as a former governor and frequent pirate, I'm used to going where I please. But right now, I might as well be in the cells with Otis. Hmm. At least everyone knows he's a prisoner. I knew there would be one person on Melee who could help me make Guybrush see the truth. So tonight, I decided to visit Corinna. The new guards had other ideas and told me the shop was closed. By order of the governor. Hmm. Guybrush barely knows I'm in the room nowadays, but I should still have friends on melee. At least, I hope so. Someone with a blade to watch my back? The guards have set up some sort of checkpoint leading into town. That's why I'll be taking the back route into the forest. <laughs> I think I can still remember the way. Can't get lost in there. <laughs> Alright, grab that last journal. Go back toward the dead trees. So, yeah, we did. We dug our treasure down there, and now, as if we were coming out, left. Look. We're gonna go past. Hanging lights, and we're going to go past a camp on the left. We're going to go to a big tree. Right, so. Looking for the hanging lamps. Camp. Okay. So here are the hanging lamps. One of them, anyway. Looking for a camp. Campsite there and then we're looking for a big tree up here on the right this there it is big tree and it's gonna have a heart on it, it says Carla word trunk I'm gonna take your shovel dig right here Take the papers. Quest book updated. Thank you for your time. And we got part three. Dance from the heart, southwest to a zip through there. So we're going back to the zip line. Oh, there's the zip. Gonna look for six red flags, a wagon. Wait a minute, this is the wrong zip line. We went to the wrong zip line. We gotta go to the other zip line. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit tired. All right, here we go. We got this. We're almost done. 
We're almost done. Let's go. Gonna be the zip line over here. Southwest. Like the book said. Oh my gosh, Lucy. Alright, so we're almost there. We're almost done. Alright, so here's the zip line that we actually. Yeah, southwest bluesy. There's the shipyard. Alright, so. In the book, there's the flags. So look over here, the flags, six of them. Going the right way. Uh, uh, shipwreck, wreckage. Monster, what did it say? The monsters. So, here's a little monster and the remains right there. We're gonna cross the bridge. We're gonna go to the wagon. And you're gonna look to the right. You're gonna see a light. And you're gonna go to that light. And you're gonna dig right there for your chest. Golden chest of legendary treasure. Let's go. I think Karina's about to show up again in her portal. That is a beautiful chest. There is a trophy of legendary treasure hunter. Trophy of legendary treasure hunter. Yes, ma'am. Why, it's even more spectacular than I believe. And it will make a fine ingredient for a most <laughs> exquisite elixir. There you go, ma'am. <laughs> With this final triumph. You've gathered everything I need to complete the greatest elixir of my illustrious career. Return to my shop, and together we shall free Guybrush from his curse. All right. You heard her, boys. I don't know if we could take that treasure chest with us or not. We're not supposed to, like, we don't have to or anything, but... Basically, we're going to go talk to her, and then we're going to go talk to Guybrush, and then we're going to get out of here. So, we need to go back to town, to her shop. There's your checkpoint. Need to get that journal by the town. What? A journal by the town. I've got all journals. I think I missed that one. Which one? Yeah, it's, it's, it's right by the mansion. This is the one you missed. Oh. Uh, hey, come on. Ready to get my 25 second, uh, circus thing. I got that too. I can't do that. I'll have to give my account to somebody to do that. Because I can't do it in 25 seconds. I know there's probably a lot of other people out there that can't do it in 25 seconds either. I haven't Rick been able said. to. I will come back and retry it. So if you see this lamp right here and you're wondering where that last journal is, it's down here. You see that tree it's closest to the edge of the line here? It's right here. There's that last journal. Get it, Meatball? Right here. You said the chest wouldn't count for anything. <laughs> yeah. So we might 
as well go this way back into town. Need to go to the Mojo shop. Yeah. Since we don't have a portal like she does. Another portal. <laughs> yeah, another portal. We're almost done, guys. We're almost there. Hang in there. We're almost done. <laughs> All right, here we go. From a trial of discovery, a path home is revealed. I tell me, boss, right? Third at you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> From a trial of deceit, truth no longer concealed. <laughs> From a trial of the soul, new strength shall now impart. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> from the courage of the heart. It is time. <laughs> Return to the governor's mansion and confront Guybrush. Together, we shall expose the legend of Monkey Island as nothing more than the tall tales of a would-be pirate lord. There's the mojo juice. We're gonna go uncurse Skybrush. He's gonna be like, I can see clearly now the rain. Oh. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> We're coming, Guybrush. Hang in there, little buddy. Oh, that was hot. What's with all the commotion? I'm never going to be able to finish my memoirs when everything's so noisy. Hey, I remember you. But the guards told me you'd left town. It has been a long time, Guybrush Threepwood. Far longer than you know. Perhaps you would do me the honor of joining us in a toast. For old times' sake. Well, I guess a little refreshment couldn't hurt. What's in the bottle? My own recipe, brewed for the legend of Monkey Island. Well, I'll drink to that. Hey guys, sir. Cheers. Oh, tastes like breath mints mixed with cat sweat. I think I'll stick to grog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's in this? I know what cat sweat tastes like. like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, because I think the truth is gonna Oh god, I'm gonna back up. Oh dang. The hell of a belch. Mm, excuse the you. The just oh. hit him. Like, wow. Wow, Meatball, you saved that for that whole time. <laughs> dang it, I should've pulled the fuck it out. Uh, why am I in the governor's mansion? Wait, god, he just woke up, y'all. I remember. Uh, LeChuck? his sword and then everybody was there cheering for me calling me a legendary pirate just like i always wanted but none of it was real uh, i've been such an idiot we all have dreams guybrush sometimes the hard part is knowing that you have to wake up wake <laughs> up uh, elaine Oh, bad. <laughs> My bullet holes in the door. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, Chuck yeah. thinks I'm still stuck in his fantasy world, he won't be expecting me to hunt him down. I'm gonna gather my things, find myself a ship, and rescue Elaine before it's too late. Your plan is bold, but the sea of the damned is vast. 
Lechuk's vessel could be anywhere. Now, if Lechuk's using memories of our past for his evil schemes, there's only one place he'll be hiding. Somewhere I still know how to reach. It's time I went back to Monkey Island! I know you came here to save me, but I can't leave just yet. Listen, you fought off Lechuk's crew. You completed the three trials. I could really use your help. Now that the curse is broken, the people of Mele will no longer see Guybrush as the legend of Monkey Island. He'll need to make amends before he can depart. Return to the waters you call home. When Guybrush is ready to begin his journey, I shall make certain you are at his side. Sounds like we're getting kicked out of here, dudes. I'm the mayor now. <laughs> Little curve like I'm the mayor now. <laughs> Harry, can I forge your name on some documents? Oh no, you're awake. <laughs> Alright, well let's let's get out of here. All we gotta do is leave now. See our beautiful ship down there. We did it. We're not out of there. We're not completely done yet. I mean, leave on our ship and then it'll unlock stuff. I won't have everything unlocked. The only thing I'll be missing is the 25 second okay, run at the circus. This to me again. There's a legend of Monkey Island. That's right, I, I think. And the legend? It's this Gabros guy? Seriously? Now that you mention it, that does seem strange. He doesn't look like that great of a pirate. <laughs> he looks more like a flooring inspector. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shut up. Ow. <laughs> Hi, scumbar people. We'll see you next time. There's our way out of here. Oh. Yeah, I got it.
Okay, here we go. <laughs> the poop deck. <laughs> Settle down, Whoa. water. Whoa. Who's your on fire? I'm on fire? So yeah, is little crap. That's funny. Bring my turn back out. That's that's it, folks. Thank you very much, uh, Big Meatball eighty eight and Little Crap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was awesome. See you next time. Grog vending machine. <laughs> it's right next to the store here. You're gonna want to insert coin, and here comes your grog. For an accommodation, we're going to step back and drink this. So, cheers, everybody! Here we go. Chug a lug. Things are about to get weird. Yo ho ho and oh my gosh, things are getting now. weird. Things are getting very weird. I better put this stuff down. Um, okay. This might need a bucket. I might. I don't feel very well. I might need to back. Oh my gosh, look at the boys getting getting a little groggy over there. <laughs> Step aside, please. Time is money. And you're gonna stay tipsy for a good, good while. Oh, yep, there it went. I tried to get a little crap, couldn't get him. We've been getting some. When you've made a decision, I'll be here. Oh, Carrie, I got something for you. <laughs> Take a walk, clear your head. I'll be waiting. Yeah, we're trying to clear our heads, Dan. I'll take a minute. Oh, I think I got a two for one on that one. Oh, <laughs> you all got me. Uh, and I am still freaking drunk here. Yeah, miss, low crap. Yeah, miss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're sobering up a little. Well, I am. Well, I'll take a drink a little bit later. <laughs> He's still... <laughs> He's still having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Meatball? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh my god, he's puking. Alright, so then, um, once you sober up, you want to speak. Hey, oh! My new favorite customer. I've done it. Oh, crap. <laughs> so dang. A hell of a belch. Mm, excuse you. just <laughs> hit him. Like, wow. 
Wow, Meatball, you saved that for that whole time. <laughs> Dang it, I should have pulled the bucket out. Uh, why am I in the governor's mansion? God, I just woke up, y'all. I remember. LeChuck, his sword, and then... Everybody was there, cheering for me, calling me a legendary pirate just like I always wanted. But none of it was real. Uh, I've been such an idiot. We all have dreams, Guybrush. Sometimes the hard part is knowing that you have to wake up. Wake <laughs> up? Uh, Elaine! Oh, man. <laughs> My bullet holes in the door. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, Chuck yeah. thinks I'm still stuck in his fantasy world, he won't be expecting me to hunt him down. I'm gonna gather my things, find myself a ship, and rescue Elaine before it's too late. Your plan is bold, but the sea of the damned is vast. LeChuck's vessel could be anywhere. Now, if LeChuck's using memories of our past for his evil schemes, there's only one place he'll be hiding. Somewhere I still know how to reach. It's time I went back to Monkey Island. I know you came here to save me, but I can't leave just yet. Listen, you fought off LeChuck's crew. You completed the three trials. I could really use your help. Now that the curse is broken, the people of Mele will no longer see Guybrush as the legend of Monkey Island. He'll need to make amends before he can depart. Return to the waters you call home. When Guybrush is ready to begin his journey, I shall make certain you are at his side. Sounds like we're getting kicked out of here, dudes. I'm the mayor now. Little curve like I'm the mayor now. <laughs> Harry, can I forge your name on some documents? Oh no, you're awake. Alright, well let's let's get out of here. 